بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو آن لائن کلاسز اف اقرا اوفاس سیکنڈری اسکولز آ پروجیکٹ اف اقرا ایجوکیشن سسٹم دس از دی ویڈیو لیکچر آن گرامر ٹاپک 1 ریویژن اف ٹینسز ان دس لیکچر آئی ول گیو یو بریف ریویو اف ٹینسز یو ہیو آلریڈی اسٹڈیڈ ان ارلیئر کلاسز بیفور گوئنگ تھرو ٹینسز Let us take a look at the elements of sentence. As you can see on the board in front of you, there are three elements of sentence. Subject, verb, and object or complement. Let's take a look at subject, verb, object, and complement individually that how they work in a sentence. Before I explain you what subject is, you may tell me, what do you understand by the word subject? Every one of you is invited to think. Yes. Do you think subject here on the board is the same subject what you study in your schools? For instance, English. Mathematics, Urdu, Science, and so on and so forth. No, my brothers, this is not that subject which you study. This is a subject of English and this is an element of a sentence. And now I'm going to tell you what subject is and how it works in a sentence. The doer of action, a verb. The first definition of the subject, the doer of action of verb means whatever action takes place in the verb of a sentence is performed by either somebody or something. So that somebody or something that performs that action of verb is called subject and the second definition is who or what is being talked about in simple words when somebody says a sentence you can understand that who that somebody is talking about for example in example number one the first definition of subject is illustrated. Ahmed plays cricket. You may look at this example number one and tell me the action of work in this sentence. Yes, you are right. Play is the action in this sentence. Now, you may tell me again who performs the action of play in the sentence yes very right ahmed ahmed is the doer of play in the sentence now example number two for definition number two of subject if i say ahmed is a good player Tell me who I am talking about. Yes, right. I am talking about Ahmed. I am giving information about Ahmed. In both sentences, the position of subject, in simple words, doer, is at the beginning in the sentence. Yes. Subject usually comes at the beginning of a sentence. Let's understand the second element of sentence, which is verb. Verb is an integral part of a sentence. Do you know how many languages are spoken in the world? Did you say 20? Oh, I heard somebody say it, hundreds. Okay, let me tell you. 
there are thousands of languages spoken in the world including international national and regional languages for your information in all the languages a sentence is incomplete without verb so now you know how important verb is let's understand this important element of sentence in detail you can look at the board verb has two main branches auxiliary verb and main verb auxiliary verb is also called helping verb and it comes before the main verb it helps us to know the time of action for example i have written a sentence on the board you cannot tell me the time of action in the sentence and you cannot tell me whether it is present tense past tense or future tense unless or until i use the specific auxiliary verb in this sentence now look at the board again i have used auxiliary verb in the blank now the sentence is we are taking class can you tell me whether it is present tense past tense or future tense uh, sorry speak loudly oh somebody said present tense yes how did we know this is present tense yes are the usage of are as auxiliary verb in this sentence is telling us this sentence belongs to present tense now look at the board again what is the difference between the previous sentence and this sentence yes the difference of auxiliary verb first i used are as auxiliary verb and now i have used were as auxiliary verb here and now this sentence belongs to past it's no more of present why yes because of were as auxiliary verb oh i changed the auxiliary verb again yes now this time there is no are there is no verb but a new auxiliary verb will be we will be taking class so my dear students i am asking you again what do you think this sentence belongs to present past or future yes you are right now this is future tense so you see the importance of auxiliary verb whenever there is a specific auxiliary verb it tells us time of action in simple words the auxiliary verb tells us the sentence belongs to present past or future let's get back to the previous topic so my brothers as i told you auxiliary verb tells us time of action it has no meaning and no forms on the other hand the second branch of verb which is main verb main verb has meanings and four forms present form past form past participle form and present participle form present form is also called first form we can call past form the second form we can call past participle form the third form and we can call present participle the fourth form and i have exemplified you let me focus on this yes here you are i have used the verb play in all the four forms here play itself is present form which means first form the past form or the second form of play is played third form or past participle form is played and fourth form or present participle form is playing so you know now 
every mean verb has meanings and four forms present form past form past participle form and present participle form then we have mean verb yes we call it mean verb because without this verb sentence is incomplete as we discussed earlier mean verb has meanings and four forms as i exemplified you with play 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 played and playing play means to involve in physical or mental activity for fun and enjoyment so play has four forms also clear some main verbs show movement verbs that show movement are called action verb you can see on the board i have written some verbs which show movement for example play eat drink walk speak and some verbs show no movement i have written some examples of such verbs which are called state verbs because there is no movement there is a state or condition physical state or mental state let's look at these examples love there is no movement i love my parents i love my students i am doing no movement when i am saying this and when i am even loving my students and parents i hate in this sentence there is no movement i like english there is no movement i dislike fast food there is no movement same as the last example written on the board is think when i think i have no movement i make no movement i sit on the sofa or couch and i think it means i am not making any movement yes there is the mental state in this think i hope you have clearly understood subject and verb let's discuss object and complement object is the receiver of action it means somebody or something in a sentence that is affected by the action is called object so any noun or pronoun in a sentence that receives an action of the verb is called object i have exemplified you three examples on the board example number 1 ahmed plays cricket the action of play is affecting cricket it means cricket is the receiver of action hence cricket is object in this sentence example number 2 we take class the action of taking is affecting class so class is the receiver of action hence class is object in this sentence example number 3 you call me me is receiving the action of call hence me is object in this sentence the last element of sentence is complement complement means the word that completes a sentence in the absence of object if there is no object in the sentence then there will be complement to complete the sentence i have exemplified you two sentences on the board example number 1 we are friends the word friends is complement here why because there is no object in the sentence so there was no object object was going somewhere so he asked complement to come at his place so the word friends is complement in the sentence because there is no object example number 2 amar is a good player a good player is also a complement there is no object in the sentence and the reason why there are no objects in example number 1 and example number 
बिकॉज वी रिसेंटली स्टडी ऑब्जेक्ट इज द रिसीवर ऑफ एक्शन डू यू सी एनी एक्शन इन दीज टू सेंटेंसेज वी आर फ्रेंड्स एम एल इज अ गुड प्लेयर इन दीज टू सेंटेंस देर इज नो एक्शन वेन देर इज नो एक्शन देर इज नो ऑब्जेक्ट वेन देर इज नो ऑब्जेक्ट देर इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट सो I hope you have clearly understood that object comes after an action verb and complement usually comes after a state verb I hope so far you people have understood elements of sentence under the heading of revision of tenses my brothers it was so important to explain you or revise you these elements of sentences because you will need subject verb and object to make a sentence in all the 12 tenses now we will move on to second part of revision of tenses and i will draw a chart on the board and i will show you there are 12 tenses and in each tense which auxiliary verb we use and which main verb we use so till then take care of yourselves and see you in the second part of revision of tenses assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh